Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today in this video, we'll be discussing about how the X-rays are produced. We'll be basically talking about two types of radiations, which is the characteristic radiation and the bram stoning radiation, how they are produced. And which is the more efficient one? Let's get started. So in the previous video, we have seen that during the process of electron emission and conversion to X-ray photons from the anode, what happens is most of the high speed electrons traveling from the filament to the target, they interact with the target electrons and they release their energy as heat. Only 1% of these electrons which are released from this filament, they actually reach the target and they are converted into X-ray photons. Okay. The conversion of kinetic energy into the X-ray photons could be by either of the two radiation. First is the brehm stalling radiation and the next is the characteristic radiation. Let us have a look at each of them. The brehm stalling radiation. The word brehm stalling, it means breaking in Germany. So this is what? This is actually a breaking radiation. This brehm stalling radiation is the primary source of radiation from the X-ray tube. And these brehm stalling protons, how are they produced? They are produced by sudden stopping of or the sudden slowing down of the high speed electrons by the tungsten nuclei in the target. Okay. The tungsten target may, tungsten target may jo nuclei hai, it suddenly stops or slows down the high speed electrons. And because of that, a brehm stalling proton is produced or the X-ray X -ray photons are produced. See, we all know that the electron, it is negatively charged, okay, negatively charged electron from the cathode. And since it is moving towards the anode, which is, see, this is the nucleus of the anode. And since this electron, it would be moving towards the nucleus of the anode, it would have some kinetic energy, okay. And let us assume that this electron has X amount of kinetic energy and in the com coming consecutive videos we will we'll have a look ki ye X amount of energy say how much amount of energy is converted into the X-ray photons. The nucleus absorbs kinetic energy and transforms it into the this nucleus of anode. It is absorbing the kinetic energy and it is transforming it into the X-ray photons. There are various possibilities for the same in the bram stoning radiation itself. So see what this is what uh, let us assume this is the diagram of an atom it has various shells k l and m shells okay it has certain amount of electrons which are there are certain amount of electrons which are present in these shells i have drawn only two electrons in each shell now now what happens is sometimes the electron with x amount of energy it directly hits the nucleus see this electron with x amount of energy here it directly hit the nucleus and what happens is it has directly hit the nucleus of the target atom. Now what would happen? This is producing a photon of maximal energy which is X. Why? Because the electron has directly hit the nucleus. So iski puri ki puri energy, all of the energy, kinetic energy of this electron would be converted into X-ray photon. And a photon of maximal energy which is X would be produced. This type of interaction is called direct hit interaction. Why? Because all of the energy is transformed into a single X-ray photon. Here the energy of photon would be completely equal to the energy of electron and this energy of electron is equal to the voltage which is applied across the X-ray tube at that instant. Okay. In next, uh, next condition what can happen is Sometimes, most commonly, what happens is the electron is attracted towards the positive charged nuclei. Okay, this electron, it is being attracted towards this nuclei and its path is altered. Okay, the electron and it is attracted towards the nuclei. And uska jo path hai wo, instead of going there, here, it would go here. So, its path is altered towards the nucleus. And because of this, it loses some of its velocity okay and it slows down this 
deceleration it causes the electron to lose energy and this energy is given out in the form of x-ray photon okay this x-ray photon would be released from here so this produces what this is this has produced a bremsstahlung starling photon of lower energy if this electron has x amount of energy since it has missed from a wider distance so this photon would have a lower energy let's suppose x2 and this is the altered part of the deflected decelerated electron this interaction is what indirect hit interaction with wide miss why because this electron has missed it has missed it its path which is far away from the nucleus so iska path wo nucleus se bahut dur hai so here what is happening here a photon of lower energy which is let's suppose the energy of this electron is x so a photon of lower energy which is x minus x2 is produced okay now in the next situation let us consider what here the electron is attracted very closely okay nucleus se bahut close the matlab electron ja raha tha it is being deflected from its path its speed slows down matlab decelerate ho jayega why kyu iski speed slow down hogi because iski jo energy hai kuch energy would be absorbed by the nucleus and with that energy the x ray photon would be released okay so this is a bremsstahlung starling photon of lower energy now since this electron is closer to the nucleus what would happen this photon would be of much higher energy because jitna zyada nucleus ke paas rahega utni zyada uski energy would be absorbed by the nucleus and this is the altered path of the deflected decelerated electron this type of interaction is indirect hit interaction with near miss the earlier one was with wide miss and here a photon of lower energy which is x minus x6 amount of energy is produced okay so these are the three different ways in which the bremsstahlung starling photons are produced so the efficiency of bremsstahlung starling uh, radiation is proportional to the square of the atomic number of the target so jo metals honge with high atomic number would effectively deflect the part of the incident electrons this type of radiation which is the bremsstahlung starling radiation it is generating a continuous spectrum of energy why see there are various reasons for this let's have a look at them see there is continuously varying voltage difference between the target and the filament continuously voltage difference vary hoga target aur filament ke beech mein jiske wajah se continuously electrons bhi produce honge electrons striking the target have varying levels of kinetic energy to ek spectrum of energy would be produced next the electrons pass at different distance around the nuclei koi wide miss hai koi near miss hai koi direct hit hai koi indirect hit hai so what happens is so they are deflected to varying extent thereby they give photons with varying amount of energy so a spectrum of energy continuous spectrum of x ray photons are produced next most of the electrons they participate in multiple interactions in the targets before losing all their kinetic energy means once the electron ki path is deflected and decelerated it again comes and hits the target so most of the electrons they participate in multiple interactions jab tak unki complete kinetic energy khatam nahi ho jati so the electron has differing amount of energy after successive interaction with the nuclei now this is the graph which is plotted against the number of photons produced and the kinetic energy of the photons okay so the bremsstahlung starling radiation here we can see it has produced a continuous spectrum of x ray photons now next if we talk about the characteristic radiations so the characteristic radiation it makes up a small fraction of the photon in the x ray beam okay these the characteristic photons they are produced when when the incident electron it ejects an electron from the tungsten target matlab ek jo incident electron hai wo tungsten target ke ek inner electron ko jab eject karega then the characteristic photons are produced let's have 
an example here in this atom in this tungsten uh, atom we have considered only two shells okay now what is happening is a high energy electron it is incident to the atom see this high energy electron it is incident to the atom this is incident high energy electron and what does it does it ejects an electron from the inner orbital because of which what happens a recoil electron is created and a photo electron is created along with that an electron vacancy is created in this place jahan se wo eject hua okay means ye jo incident electron hai high energy electron it comes and it combines with this electron of the inner orbit okay what does it does it is ejecting an electron so here two elect two type of electrons would be produced one would be the recoil electron and the other would be the photo electron okay and an electron vacancy is created now what happens this is the electron vacancy an electron from the outer orbital okay outer orbital ka ek electron yahan aa jayega and it fills this vacancy and a photon is emitted see since the electron of the outer orbital has filled this vacancy what happens is jo energy difference tha ye dono shells ke beech mein of that energy a photon is emitted with the energy which is equal to the difference of the energy levels in the two shells ye dono shells ke beech ki energy level ka jo difference hai us energy ka photon is emitted characteristic radiation photon okay so if this shell has x amount of energy and this outer one has y amount of energy then the energy of the incident photon would be x minus y next what would happen here the vacancy is created a higher energy level electron would come and fill up the this vacancy and again an incident photon would be created okay so the electrons from the various orbitals may be involved giving rise to other characteristic photons and the energy of the photons which are released are the characteristic of the target so this is the graph of the characteristic radiation see the characteristic radiation is basically a chance phenomenon this type of radiation or these photons are produced only when the incident electron would come and heat and hit the or eject the inner uh, orbital electrons of the tungsten atom okay this is it about how the x rays are produced the characteristic radiation and the bram stalling radiation now do not forget to like share and subscribe to my channel do hit the bell icon if you don't want to miss the latest updates thank you keep visiting bye